In the meantime, new details this evening on the special prosecutor's report about the handling of the Jesse Smollett case. In this 60-page report just released, special prosecutor Dan Webb called out Cook County State's attorney Kim Fox in her office. Jewel Hillary has been looking into that report and joins us with more. Hi, good evening, Ben and Jackie. So this lengthy report came out about 1 o'clock this afternoon. Special Prosecutor Dan Webb and his office, they were ordered to investigate whether or not Kim Fox and her office, along with the Chicago Police Department, were involved in any criminal activity related to Smollett's initial case. The nearly 60-page legal document submitted by the Office of the Special Prosecutor indicates no evidence of criminal conduct by Cook County State's Attorney Kim Fox or anyone in her office. Fox excused herself from the initial Smollett case on February 9, 2019. In March 2019, prosecutors dropped a 16-count indictment against Smollett, who, as of earlier this month, was convicted of staging a hate crime against himself. While no illegal activity is noted. The Office of the Special Prosecutor report does cite substantial abuses of discretion and operational failures by the Cook County State Attorney's Office in prosecuting and resolving the initial Smollett case. Special Prosecutor Webb's office based its evidence off of more than 40 interviews, dozens of subpoenas, and more than 26,000 documents. Judge Tuman, when he appointed me, said the reason he was appointing me was to restore the public's confidence in the judicial system. He said that because at that point it appeared like we had two different systems of justice, one for the ordinary person and the other for more privileged people like Mr. Smollett. That's not the image and perception you want the people in Cook County to have. The report breaks these findings down into four substantial abuses of discretion and failures. One of those cites the Cook County State's Attorney's Office engaged in a substantial abuse of discretion and breached its obligation of honesty and transparency when State's Attorney Kim Fox made false and or misleading statements to the public that she stopped communicating with Journey Smollett, Jesse's sister, after Fox knew Jesse had become a subject of the investigation. Through its investigation, the office also claims Fox breached obligations of honesty and transparency by stating false and misleading statements to the public regarding the dismissal of the original case. And as it relates to the police department, there's no evidence of supporting criminal charges. However, there were media reports that contained unauthorized leaks of police investigative information by CPD personnel that were in violation of the police department's policies. Now we have reached out to Kim Fox's office for a statement in response to the report, but have yet to hear back. On December 9th, Smollett was found guilty of five counts of disorderly conduct. He claimed he was the victim of a racist, homophobic attack in January of 2019. Back to you all. Thank you, Jewel.